2018's horror pack came in. So, let's see what kind of Blu-rays we got this month. We got any, uh... Oh. Yeah, we got a slipcover. <laughs> Alright. Let's, let's save the slipcover to last. First up, we have... Okay. From producer M. Night Shyamala, we have Devil. digital copy and nothing really to write about. I really hate these. I hate these things with a passion. Okay, and digital code and an advertisement for Death Race 2. All right, bad things happen for a reason. Trapped in an elevator high above Philadelphia, five people discover that the devil is among them and no one can escape their fate. This chilling supernatural thriller from producer M. Night Shyamala from The Sixth Sense and Signs will keep you on the edge of your seat all the way to the heart-stopping ending with a truly wicked twist. Okay, for special features, we got the Blu-ray exclusives Pocket Blue, where you can use your smartphone and stuff using it, basically since using the app to control the Blu-ray or whatever. Uh, BD Live, which comes on most Blu-rays nowadays, and Deleted Scenes, The Story, The Devil's Meeting, The Night Chronicles. I wonder if that's like a web series or short films or something. And D-Box Motion Enabled, I don't think anybody uses D-Box anymore. I would never have bought this, so thanks for it. <laughs> now I get to watch The Devil in an elevator with five people. In an elevator. <laughs> Next up we have... Oh, okay. Is this the Horror Pack Limited? No. <gasps> no, this ain't the Horror Pack Limited Edition, is it? No. But I've been wanting this for a long time. It is the editor. And this, this Blu-ray has eluded me for such a long time. I, I think it's more, I think it's more of a foreign... But yeah, it's pretty cool. Is it Dario? No, no, it's not Argento. But uh, open this up for y'all. <laughs> so yeah, really pleased to find that. It's the editor with the awesome looking slip, uh, not slip cover, awesome looking cover. And there's the back. All right. Devoted fans of the Italian. Okay, I don't know how to say that word. We're just going to say, skip that word, G-I-A-L-L-O genre. We'll get a hoot out of the precision with which the editor satirizes their clumsier conventions. And that's a quote from Variety. Ray Sisso, Adam Brooks, was once the greatest editor the world had ever seen. Since a horrific accident left him with four wooden fingers on his right hand, He's had to resort to cutting pulp films and trash pictures. Well, that's one way to go. When the lead actors from the film he's been editing are murdered, Ray is fingered as the number one suspect. The bodies continue to pile up in this absurdist giallo, giallo thriller. That's how you say it. Italian giallo. Well, close. I got close. As Ray struggles to prove his innocence and learn the sinister truth lurking behind the scenes, also starring Paz de la Harta, Enter the Void, and Nurse 3D, Lawrence R. Harvey, The Human Centipede 2, I've never even seen any of those, and Udo Kier from Blade and Iron Sky. I've seen Blade, so he might look familiar. Functioning as a straight-up send-up of Dario Argento, Mario Brava, and the cinematic sorcerers of 70s slasher films, Canadian horror comedy, The Editor, oh, it's actually Canadian, is a charming tribute to the unsung classics of Jawa, an Italian subgenre known for its gory and gruesome erotic horror. That's going to be fun. That is going to be really fun. Special features. Audio commentary. Making movies used to be fun. Making of documentary. Featurettes. Deleted scenes. And more. So, yeah. Really happy 
to have this in the collection now. And I do not think it's that. And let's look on the inside. <gasps> is this a Scream Factory? No, it's not Scream Factory. Now we got two different. Okay, this one right here is the Blu ray. Don't get mad at me, YouTube. This is not my artwork. And this is the DVD, which I think is the same. Yeah, it's the same as the front. But if you take them out, or I'm not going to take them out. But if you do that, you get this. And then you turn it around. And then you get. I think this is the, yeah, this is the, I'm guessing the original. So that is really cool. That is really cool. That's fantastic. Now I'm going to have to find a slipcover for this so I can, if they have one. So yeah. Thank you, Horror Pack. Thank you a lot. That is, I'm, I'm happy with just, just this by itself right now. Let's see. We got that one and the slipcover on this other one. So I'm guessing this is the Horror Pack Limited Edition. Yes, it is. The Horror Pack Limited Edition number 23. And it's a Grindhouse Releasing Presents of Pieces. And it's in this nice little protective sleeve. Mmm kind of simple artwork but it, it, it's effective and there's the back all right it's exactly what you think it is grindhouse releasing is proud to present the sickest and most violent of all the early 80s slasher movies wow <laughs> that's a big claim i mean that is a huge claim i've seen some twisted 80s slasher movies and that is a, i gotta see this for myself a uh, psychopathic killer stalks at Boston campus, brutally slaughtering nobile young college co-eds, collecting body parts for a grisly and gruesome purpose. Pieces is a wild, unrated gore fest with enough splatter and sleaze to shock the most jaded horror fan. I really hope this is true. <laughs> this is very interesting. Special features include audio commentary and still galleries not a lot of not a lot of uh special features trying to see if there's anybody but yeah let's take this out it's not signed anywhere yeah here's a little better look at the front and the back now i did look because they gave us the option to look this month i knew we was getting this one and it is nice it's very rare you see cover art like this. It's pretty cool though. I think it is. But yeah, that's Pieces. And actually, I didn't think we was going to get the editor and Pieces in both in one pack. That's, that's, wow. Horror Pack just really stepped up their game this, this month. They really stepped up their game. And last but not least, we come to the slipcover. I don't know if this can get any better or not. Or it might be one I already have. Who knows? Last up we have... Actually, no. I don't have this one. But I have two of the other ones. Two of the other... Um, this is based off of a fairy tale. And two of the other ones, one of them Horror Pack sent me and one I bought at Walmart. We have Molly Quinn... And Carrie Ells, who you don't know, is in the Saw franchise and played Robin Hood in Robin Hood Man in Tights. You probably know him from that. With Laura Flynn Bowl and Michael Welch. And Hansel and Gretel get baked. <laughs> yeah. I think this is a straight... I think this came... This was on Sci-Fi not too long ago, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't even know this had a slipcover. I think this is... The second straight month we've had a, a drug-based movie. Yeah, that 420 Massacre was last month. <laughs> I don't know if you're trying to tear out something horror pack or... I'm not insinuating anything, I'm just I'm just asking. It's kind of unusual, but hey, this might not be as, might not be uh, good, but I've never seen it. And I mean, I've seen reviews on it and a lot of people give it a lot of hate. But I, I'm an expiring filmmaker and stuff. I tend to look at all the angles and stuff. So, who knows? I may like it. I may be one of the few that actually enjoys just giving it a 
run through. I mean, I knew I was getting pieces, but I kind of forgot. I really tend to forget a lot. And this thing does not want to come off, does it? All right, I think that's the best we're gonna get. Okay, so here's a better look at Hansel and Gretel get bait. Okay, no, nope, it is just the same thing, but always love getting slip covers. <laughs> okay, from the Tribeca Film Festival, brings you the best new independent films, including titles from the Tribeca Film Festival, on demand, on DV, in theaters, and online everywhere. And that's Tribeca Film. Okay, so they got their own company now. Cool. Teenage siblings, Hansel and Gretel, Molly Quinn, from Castle. I knew I've seen her before. She plays as Castle's daughter. And Michael Welch from Twilight. Never saw Twilight. Never gonna see it. Are shaken out of suburbia when an intense new marijuana strain named Black Forest takes Los Angeles by storm. When Gretel's stoner boyfriend... <laughs> Boyfriend mysteriously disappears while on a run to buy more drugs. The siblings follow his breadcrumbs to the house of a little old lady, Laura F Flynn Boyle from Men in Black 2, who has a very green thumb. When the seemingly sweet woman turns out to be a drug-dealing, drug-growing evil witch. Okay, I, I swear to you, I did not make this up. <laughs> drug... Dealing, drug, growing, evil witch. Yes. <laughs> I have never, never in my life as a horror fan ever seen those six words together in the same sentence. <laughs> a drug dealing, drug growing, evil witch. That right there sounds like a whole premise for a horror movie right there. But anyway, getting off track. Let's get back track to the movie. Who cooks and eats her wasted patrons, patrons for their youth. Okay. That's one way to get rid of the younger generation, I guess. It's bake or get baked for Hansel and Gretel. The siblings must save their friend and each other from a gruesome death or they will surely face the last high of their lives. That has got to be the best synopsis I have ever read for a movie. Wow. All right. Looks like we got one disc. My God, the case is warped. Wow. And there you go. Kind of different little artwork, but it's kind of all... It's just kind of like a little puff of smoke and blood splatter. It's really not that. Carrie L. is in a marijuana movie based on a Hansel and Gretel. It just blows my mind. I want to see if anybody else is in here besides those two. Besides Molly Quinn and Carrie L's and Laura Flynn Bowl. Comedy horror. Great subgenre. All right. So where did my... Oh, there it is. Slipcase. Slipcase back on now. Ha ha. Hansel and Gretel get baked. As it clearly states, with a drug dealing, drug growing evil witch. Best line ever. Pieces. It says right here, most violent of all the early 80s slasher movies. Can't wait to check that out. The editor. It's taking this long for me to finally get it. But I finally got it and I finally get to watch it. And Devil. It was on Netflix some time ago. So somebody already told me any. I hate when people tell me the any. It pisses me off. But yeah. Devil. Get to watch it now. We had to see who the devil is out of five people in an elevator, basically. <laughs> yeah, and there is June 2018 tour back. All right, I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. You can get your own horror pack Blu-ray. Um, they I think it's $24.99. And they also have a DVD pack, 
which is four different movies. So if you just subscribe to both, you get eight movies in one month. That is not bad at all. So you, it was twenty four ninety nine for the Blu rays. I think it's sixteen ninety nine for the DVDs. But with my link, click on it and use my little promo thing. You can get three dollars off your first month. So hey, save you a little bit of money, introduce you to Horror Pack. And I'm also going to leave a link in the description for uh, Rue Morgue's Coffin Box. I think it's called Coffin Box, I'm not for sure. But it's a new subscription from them and Horror Pack. You get a Blu-ray selected from Horror Pack. You get a t-shirt, you get a latest ed edition of Rue Morgue. It's basically for the horror fan. You get toys, collectibles in it. It's different. So yeah, go check it out. Subscribe to them. I would have subscribed to them, but kind of ran a lot of money. Okay, I've rambled on about enough. But yeah, definitely uh, Air to Junes. And I, before I made this video, I read that uh, July's Horror Pack, they're releasing two limited editions. So instead of getting, you know, instead of getting one like we normally do, we're going to get number 24 and 20, 25 next month so hey subscribe to horror pack right now and we'll see all you horror girls and guys around and later guys